in this program, I'm going to import string. And then I'm going to set a variable, a equal to C-E-M-V-H-N-Y, randomly chosen letters. B equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the same number of letters, but in sequence, so as to simplify this example. Now I'm going to take a variable x. I'm going to assign it the return value from this. I'm going to say string, string library, this string library. Mr. String? Yes. I want you to make a translation for me. Really? What would you like me to uh, do? I would like you to take all the letters in A here and translate them using B. Translate them with their numerical equivalents, positional equivalents in B. So, C gets replaced by 1, E gets replaced by 2, M by 3, V by 4, H by 5, N by 6, Y by 7. Okie dokie. I'll do that. Um, now I'm going to make a variable called S and assign it the value. <clears throat> the cow jumped over the moon. All right. That's good. Now what? Now. I want you to print out the two variables, A and B, on the screen so we can test this data. We can see it and test to see if it worked. Print a blank line, then print out S, the cow jumped over the moon. All right. And right underneath that, S, yes, Mr. String, that has the cow jumped over the moon, yes. I want you to translate your expression, the cow jumped over the moon, using x. The guy up here, x. Who knows to replace all c's with 1, all e's with 2, all m's with 3, all v's with 4, etc., etc. Translate that. Translate this using the instructions from x. Okay, I'll do that. Well, let's see what's going to happen now. I'm going to go over here and grab my window. That's on 27. Up arrow key. And SM, that's the name I gave this program, SM, because it's a string that will make a translation. So here we go. And I hit enter. Oh, we get, we get our... Uh, our, uh, our little cipher, C E M V H N Y, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The cow jumped over the moon, and then the translation. Oh, wow, look at that. T5210 W J U 3 P 2 D O 4 2 R T5230 6. Let's see if this actually worked. T H. H is what letter? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should be replaced by 5, and it is. E. Should be replaced by 2, and it is. Cow C should be replaced by 1, and it is. Here's C, 1. E, 2. O, there's no O's there. W, no. J, U. Oh, but we do have an M. That was 1, 2, 3. M gets replaced by 3. E gets replaced by 2. V gets replaced by 1, 2, 3, 4. And E by 2, T H E, H is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, E is 2, M is 3, and N is 6. This worked. Wow. Huh. It's a, it's a cipher. Wow. That's amazing. And that's all I have to say for now. This is George Bull using the string library. Lots of fun. Bye-bye now.